Hi, in a previous video I did a fairly detailed explanation of the Newtone IK15 and IK25 entry intercom systems and I was asked by a couple people if I could make a short sort of operational video of how, how these systems work and today I'm going to do the IK15. For a more detailed overview of these systems you should watch the other video which I will link in down below. So what we have here is the IK15 inside station from the other video with a IS68 door speaker. This would have been the ones that came in a kit along with the transformer that your builder might have installed when he built your home. I just have this hooked up on a little piece of wire to connect the two stations together and it's hooked up to a transformer up on the workbench. So it's powered on now and the way this system operates is very simple. So a visitor comes up to your door, they push the button And you get the two chime tones on the inside station and the system is activated automatically. To talk to the front door, all you do is move the, talk, the button to the talk position. I have the volume turned down on this, otherwise it would just be a lot of feedback because the speakers are much too close together. But you simply would push it down to ask who's there and release and the visitor will reply and you'll hear them. As long as you continue to operate the control, it will continue to stay in intercom mode. And once you stop pushing the button, there is an adjustment. It will time out and go back to standby. And that's really all there is to it. If you have the optional door release, this panel comes out and there'd be a push button here. And you would push the button and that will energize the door release and the person can push the door open. That's really all there is to it. It's not really very complicated at all. The adjust, there are adjust, two adjustments on the inside of this unit. They're on the back. Uh, this one down here is for the volume and the timeout adjustment is on the inside. You have to take it off the wall to do that, but that should have been set up for when it was installed. So that's really all there is to how an IK-15 operates. So I'm gonna pause the video for a second and then show you an, a, an option to uh, make your system a little better. Okay, we're back. Oh wait, something's changed. Well, what has changed? Well, we still have our IK-15 inside station, but now instead of the old ugly uh, IS-68 door speaker that you originally had, we have this nice fancy brand new uh, Newtone door station that replaces the IS-68. Now this is a standard Newtone entry door station that's used on all of the current models of intercom systems. However, it's been converted to operate like an IS-68. And I'm not really going to go over that here because there's another video in this playlist that shows you in great detail how to do that. And I thought that I would show you that it actually does work. So again, if you push the button, chime tones here, push to talk, I don't have it turned up very loud because if you turn it up really loud so you actually can hear it, let's see. You get a lot of really annoying feedback, which I really hate. So now we have to wait for it to time out. Anyway, so this is a converted, this is a model NDB300WH for white and it's been converted on the back to take the place and operate like an IS-68. So if you have a failed IS-68 on your IK-15 or IK-25 uh, door station, uh, I'll put a link to the other video about how to do the conversion down in the comments and, or in the description and uh, you can take a look at that and replace it. Please don't go to eBay and spend $145 for a new old stock IS-68. That's just crazy money. You can buy a speaker like this for around $45 or so, a couple dollars worth of uh, capacitors and 20 minutes of your time and you've got something much nicer than an IS-68 ever was. So that's a good idea, I think. That's all for today. I hope you found this video interesting and perhaps helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. If you find our other videos helpful and perhaps will save you money, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for today. See you on the next video.